40 days of faith, step number eight, before and after. Let me show to you the meaning of these 40 days. 40, a number that causes a divide, that draws the line between what was and what will be. Weakness and strength, failure and success, between oppression and freedom. Now is the time to learn how you can benefit from the power of faith through these 40 days. 40 steps to better your life, take you to the top, and keep you going strong and stronger every day. 40 Day Journey. These 40 days is to take you up. You have been down, you have been broken, devastated, but the 40 days of faith, the journey to Mount Sinai is to take you up to the next level. Have you noticed, perceived, you have never been to the top? It's like you take some steps and you fall again. One, two, three, four steps and you fall again. Actually, you are always on the step number one because you go up and down, up and down. You never reach the top. But these 40 days is to take you to the top. See what the Word of God says. The Lord gives voice. The Lord gives a command before His army. For His camp is very great, His soldiers. For strong is the one who executes His words. To execute the word of God is to obey. What is the point if you go to see a doctor, he prescribes medication, but you don't take it. You don't obey your doctor, you can never get well. You want to bake a cake, but you do not follow the recipe. So nothing will work if you do not execute the way it should be. Moses, when was told to God, by God, to go to Pharaoh, he did go. When he was told by God to make a sacrifice in the wilderness, he did sacrifice. He did execute what God wanted. And if you execute what God wants you to do, for sure you are going to see great results. Maybe you are asking me, Bishop, what does God want? What does God want from me? There is no one better than himself to tell you. There is no one better than himself to tell you what he wants. We are going to pray in a few, and God clearly will tell you what he wants from you and from your life. The campaign of Sinai is to take you from the bottom to the top. The mind of a slave, oppressed, powerless, and hopeless. The hand of many have tried to help you and failed. You look at your future and it looks as grim as your present. You need a mighty hand to lead you out of this enslavement that your problems have put you through, to make steps from the bottom to the top. Go to where you can see great wonders, to hear the voice of freedom, being at the high place where you will see the promised land. Enough of being controlled and abused by your circumstances, talking as if you were a helpless victim. Say no more to the pain that seems to be never ending and climb to the peak. Campaign of Mount Sinai, the greatest movement of faith on God's natural altar, a chance given to those who simply can't take it anymore. The cry of the afflicted will be heard and answered from every language, race, and nation. Campaign of Mount Sinai. I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Mount Sinai is the mountain of God. 
Mount Sinai is the natural altar of God here on earth. And in this month of December, we are going to have a campaign. We are going to have a challenge on this mountain. We are going to take your broken life up to God. And when we come down, like Moses, we are going to bring the solution to your life. Come to the Universal Church, join us, and you are going to see what God wants to do. Execute his voice, his command, his word, and you are going to see the result. Right now, I want to pray with you. Place your hand upon mine, wherever you are. Close your eyes. My Lord and my Father, God of Mount Sinai, just as you descended there many times, you came inside of the dry bush, and that bush was burning with fire. You became the fire inside of that bush. You gave life. You gave light, splendor to that dry bush. And I pray to you right now, give life to this person that has been a dry bush. Give life to this person whose love, life, family, health, finances have been, my father, a dry bush. Give life to those who are dead. My Lord Jesus, as we put our hands together, I ask you that you may give strength to this person. Show to him, show to her what you want from this person, the way you want, what to do, because if this person does it, execute, obey your voice, for sure you are going to take them to the promised land. This is our prayer in our day number eight. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. You are blessed right now. The Lord speaks to you. He tells you what he wants you to do. And when God speaks, he leaves no doubt. There is no need to ask a second opinion from A, B, C, D. When God speaks, he leaves no doubt. He speaks clearly what he wants, the way he wants, and what to do. Tomorrow again, we are going to be back with one more prayer, one more step. The step today was to execute the voice of God, what God wants. This was our number eight step. At the Universal Church, we are going to have the Lord's Supper, the Holy Communion, to give you strength. Come to one of the churches, our church, this Wednesday for the Lord's Supper. May the God of the Bible bless all of you. Join us tomorrow in our journey of faith and invite your friends and family to join by sharing this link with all your contacts. Subscribe to this channel and you can get daily videos that will help you start and finish this 40-day journey of faith.